Hello friends, welcome. Friends, I hope that you guys are following the issue of Google versus Indian app providers, which is leading to a lot of back and forth between Google and the app providers, including delisting from their app store and restoring them back. Four or five days back, articles were all flooded in the newspapers where Google had delisted many apps and then some of the apps were restored immediately and some got restored as a gesture after meeting the minister. So these things are very clear. Uh, everybody knows about it. Now the question comes that even before the meeting with the minister, Google had restored some of the big app players back into the app store. And they said that they actually have met the Google pricing policy and what is it and how this is linked to the EU's recent decision on fining Apple. So that's the whole purpose of this video. Now what happened was that some of the app providers who got delisted, they re-entered the app store under a model called production model. Now what is production model? The production model is a model in which the app store is only used as a hosting platform and you cannot do any kind of transaction within the app. Means you cannot make any payment, you cannot press any link, nothing. You just simply can transact. And if you want to make payment for the service charges of that particular app, then you have to go outside the app and go to an open internet web browser, make the payment, come back and Let's say if you are have logged out from the app and you have to log in using your login details, fill the username and password and then you can do all kind of consumption. This is a model which Netflix has been following for long within the Apple as well as the Google ecosystem. You might have seen that if you are using a Netflix app, you have no option to make any payment for subscription within the Netflix app. Now. What is the advantage of using a production model? The advantage of using a production model is that you as a app provider is now, uh, you know, you know, are out of the, the service fee model, which both Apple, Apple as Google is charging, which is 30% of the revenues are collected as a, as a service free, uh, for, for providing the service payment services, right? So that is what you are no longer required to pay because all your payment transactions are now happening outside the ecosystem in a, in a web browser. Now, why this is being a point of discussion right now is because look at this uh, EU uh, uh, fine of $1.5 billion and what was the whole genesis of this case. So there is there was a uh, music app provider called Spotify who filed a complaint in the EU Commission saying that the uh, Apple is preventing them, preventing Spotify to notify their customer that there is a cheaper payment option available outside the Apple ecosystem. Now, what is the cheaper payment option which I told you? That if anybody wants to use an app, he can either pay within the app stores ecosystem using the standard payment model which is being offered by the OS provider or use a model called production model. So if anybody wants to notify, any app provider wants to notify that you have got two options to make the payment. Either you pay within the app store or you go outside the app store and make a payment uh, using a separate web browser. Apple prevented that. Apple did not allow. Means there could have been a link within the uh, Spotify app where you click and you go outside and make the payment. That is called anti-steering provision. So what you found was that this anti-steering provision, which Apple prevented the users to follow uh, so as to get informed about a cheaper uh, payment option was prevented by Apple and this was an unfair trading condi condition and a breach of article 10. 2A of the Treaty of Functioning of European Union. So this is here. These anti-steering provisions are necessary, uh, are, are neither necessary nor proportion for protecting Apple commercial interests. And that's why they're fined, right? Now, in India too, when the Google's litigation was going on, when CCI came out with their remedies, 
you will find that this is another thing which CCI also mentioned that Google cannot uh, implement, which is called anti-steering provision. So I will tell you where this uh, clause is. I just search anti search find. Uh, yeah. So 395.2. Uh, in the CCI order of 25, 35 October 2002, which says that Google shall not impose anti-steering provision on app developer and shall not restrict them from communicating their users to promote their app and offering in any manner. Now, this provision needs to be executed in order to ensure that Google is compliant to the CCI order. Now, if this has been already implemented, and that is the reason why some of the app providers who are restored back, uh, who were restored back on the same day, could have used this provision to go into a total production model within the Google App Store because using a link within the production model, if anybody wants to pay for their services, they can simply follow the link and go to an external website and make the payment and come back and start consuming the content within the Google App Store, right? Google Play Store. So that provision is allowed. Now this provision has been has been used already by many of the players who were restored back in the App Store and maybe we're going to be used by other providers and can become an important tool of circumventing the 30% or 15% revenue share service charges which Google is imposing. Similar to what you has done in case of Apple by imposing a prime uh, fine of 1.8 uh, billion euros and uh, and prevented them to um, to kind of restrict other users to go and follow their link and, and get informed about a cheaper payment option. So this is very very crucial and that's why I'm doing this video for uh, everybody to understand that why this anti-steering provision is use useful and uh, how uh, Apple has been recently fined for this uh, restriction and how this can be used in India to get rid of some of the high charges which uh, the app providers feel is that the OS providers are charging from them. Right? Now, there could be some advantage of being part of the OS providers ecosystem because of seamlessness. For example, let's say if I have to make a payment using the Apple OS system, for any app, I don't have to think. I simply do a face ID a recognition and the payment is automatically made. Now think if I have to go to an external website and make the payment, I have to fill in my user details, card details, do the transaction and then keep a record of the transaction, when to make the payment, you know, suddenly the app will stop functioning when you have not made the payment. So it's a big of a hassle. So it is always better to remain part of the um, OS ecosystem because of the seamlessness but if the charges are going to be so high and if there is a cheaper option available outside the ecosystem then maybe the users will take the payment, uh, pain and basically choose that option to save that kind of amount of money which is a which is a substantial amount I means 30% or 15% of the revenue is a substantial amount of, amount, amount of money for any user who is using any app. So I think this is what the in nutshell is all about. I don't want to elongate this video because this is the essence which I want to talk about. This anti-steering provision, both applicable now. Europe, uh, Europe is fine. Uh, Apple for regarding this, and any, anyway, Apple case is also currently on in CCI uh, since to, uh, 2021. The Google order was given in 2022, but Apple order has not yet been given. Maybe tomorrow when they come out with the Apple order, CCI come out with the Apple order then it will be a, uh, you know, the, the platform is going to get evened out between Apple and Google in India too. Because currently those provisions are not uh, applicable for Apple, which are ap applicable for Google because of the CCI order. Some of the provisions are applicable for Apple in Europe. For example, side loading of app, which you know that are DMA provisions, which are Google has been doing for, for a long period of time which Apple is not doing now they are forced to do because I just saw the recent release of 17.4 yeah I think which uh, which release it is let me just have a look at the recent release uh, the software version 
uh, the yeah 17.4 the 17.4 is the version where apple is going to implement the dma features which includes side loading of apps and a separate app store but they are not giving it to rest of the world they are not giving it to india they are not giving it to us they are just limiting this feature to uh, you only so but this is very important so i think i hope that you understood and uh, i'll keep updating you any any uh, new development which takes place on this issue thank you very much